Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And I'm just scoping out the area, and I was uh, looking around to see if things were still where they are. And yes, we got the iron mo nodes here. There's actually three of them here, plus the other two over where the hub are. And I think I'm going to capture them today, because I think today we're going to start ramping up production. Uh, yeah, there's only three of them here, I think. But these are, uh, the ones we're tapped into are normal or uh, impure sorry and I think these ones are normal they might even be pure nodes which means we're gonna get more resources out of them which is good uh, also I was talking about water being in the game that's our water source right there uh, I haven't actually done much with it so I have no idea how it's gonna work but it's gonna be fun but anyways uh, let us get to work today uh, we ha do have things being produced like always uh, I was checking how everything's working as far as efficiency going right now we're going one for one the miners are only doing 30 30 iron per hour right now uh the smelters are 30 per minute uh the smelters can do 60 per minute and the the crafters don't, or the constructors can only do 30 per minute so uh it, it kind of works out like i'm sure if i put uh power shards and then I could double them up and then have them supplying two lines but uh, speaking of two lines we're going to be going up today uh, I am going to try to capture like I said these two nodes here and then maybe those three around the corner there and I've been thinking about how I'm going to actually do this I'm going to actually go up and over uh, a few other things we're going to do today too is I made a few supplies and we're going to make ma'am we're going to bring old ma'am back into the picture here and I think I'm going to keep this area sort of as my uh, central hub to try to keep my, all my, all. yeah, kind of given on that one. But you know what I mean? Try to keep all, all my stuff over here and sort of keep it away from the factory, sort of like an office kind of deal. All right. So we have a ma'am. Oh, wow. It's changed quite a bit. Oh, wow. Tech trees. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's completely changed how it works now. Well, uh, let's see here. Let's do a little bit of research while we're at it. I think I got these guys around here somewhere. Yes, we got that. Uh, I have the flowers already, but uh, we haven't found the other big guys yet, but we'll get there eventually. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. New recipe unlocked. <laughs> that's cool. Alright, so let's see how this actually works. Okay, so... That's really interesting. It shows you sort of like a, a tree now. Cool. Well, let's research the petals, shall we? I gotta love how they're what they're doing with this game. Gotta love that music, and that gets us the color again. So it's actually gonna cost supplies to research it and see what the color cartridges. Okay, we'll do some coloring later. Uh, and we got food to research. I have no food on me, and then unknown metals. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna even get that yet, or if I have to find it let's you know what i was gonna wait till later but let's let's go grab this slug and see what happens see if it actually unlocks something in man because we're gonna have to research one of these anyways okay called it it's almost like I played the game before. Power slugs, yes. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and research you. Okay, now what do we have? So I actually have to research overclocking now. That is really interesting. And what do we have here? Uh, oh, geez, they've, they've changed it quite a bit. 
All right, well, we're going to have to get some work done here. Anyway, uh, I have made a whole bunch of biomass. Uh, we do have uh, this, these filled up. They're chewing through it pretty quick. But uh, we do have that milestone to take care of, so let's take care of it. Uh, I've been thinking about possibly building the awesome sink, too, just because. Uh, because there is something that's going to come in really handy. Okay, <laughs> just because we're going to get all the way over at the end here. Actually, I want to find out what else. Those those tubes are those hy hyper tubes. Okay, uh, so we need 500 screws. Okay, we need cable. Cable all the way down here. I gotta make sure not to run off the edge. Okay, and believe it or not, I haven't been here too very long, so stuff's piling up pretty quick. Uh, just have a little look around. I see another biome over there. So one thing I haven't done in this game yet is it really explored too much. Like, I know there's biomes I haven't even been to yet. I'm stuck. Okay, let's go over here and... Let's so hold up with you. You're just slow. That's what I mean. Like, you have to figure out, like, 10 per minute on the rods. Or the screws. But it can make 15 rods per minute. So it'd almost be like you need two of these for three of those. Or three rods to two rods for three screws. Kinda of deal, but that's where all the overclocking and excessively using power for no apparent reason comes in handy or things like I do, or instead of overclocking, just build more stuff. Like once I get the coal rolling, I won't care. Uh what was I doing? Concrete. Yes. Uh, all the way over here. And I tell you, I would have tubes going all over the place. <laughs> okay, and what do we need? Just 100 concrete. Okay, uh. Okay, I didn't grab enough bolt, uh, cables, so. Oh, let us get our chainsaw. Uh. That's the question. What does the chainsaw run off of now? Because I don't have to buy all fuel. We're gonna find out. Alright. Concrete, wire, screws, uh, cables. Okay. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists of... I thought this biofuel all the game. Additionally, R&D inflated your pockets. Solid fuel in a chainsaw. Let's find out. Uh, what do I need for this thing? Oh, screws and reinforced plates. Hmm. You know, for science purposes, I'll be right back. Okay. I have enough. Though I always handy to carry a stack of uh, ingots on you. All right. Now that I have that, let's go over here and let's make some solid biofuel. See how this actually works in a chainsaw. And uh, that should be good. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I have another another slot. Uh, sure, experiment to build. <laughs> of course. Good. Let's get these. Let's get these trees out of here. Just because. That's the thing I like about this thing too is. The area of effect it has. Like I'll take this down and take all the rest of them with it. I'm just gone. And uh, there we go. We have room for a space elevator. That is cool. I have used it before, but still cool. Anyway, so now, now I want to start building. So let me gather up a whole bunch of concrete and a whole bunch of plates and we'll start going up. Okay, so here's what my idea is. is basically the conveyors are not going to have a floor underneath them. Uh, only the machines. So we'll go over here, we'll go to walls and uh, let's see here. Which way do I want on the outside? 
we'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. And yeah, we're gonna do mirror everything. Sure, the cont container can hang off a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, you'll have to be suspended here, I guess. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, actually, what am I do? Oh, place another floor down here so I can get by. Yeah, what's over there? Sure. Yeah, I'm actually surprised I haven't fallen down yet. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. Okay, now we go back to the wall. Let's see here. So the constructor's not gonna have one there, but we're gonna have one on uh, there. And then go down here. And do I have one with the wit wall window in it yet? No, I don't. Okay, well that's fine, because we'll just go place it over here. Uh, yeah. Just like so. And then go on the other side and uh, do the same thing. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it built up as high as the machines. And... Yeah. Uh, let's actually see how we got how high we got to go. Uh, I'm going to be taking this smelter out. I don't think we're going to be using it. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to go... Up. Uh, I have no idea how high I gotta be. I have no jetpack, so I can't actually fly up there and find out. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got a mountain right here. Okay, let's see. Is that gonna be high enough? Should be. Now, uh, there's any smokestack or anything sticking up I gotta worry about. And no. Alright. Then we just switch over to a five, like that, and you get the idea. So let me go ahead and finish up these platforms, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so this is what I got. Make sure I'm recording. Uh, this is what I got. Unfortunately, I don't have a way up, so let's see if we can actually get here up there. Oh, no, I gotta place a pole here first. Okay, like so, and a conveyor, please. Elevator up. Too steep. Oh, you're actually gonna work, are you? Actually, no, I don't wanna do it there. Oh, yeah, I do. That's just a container up there, so that's fine. And let's do something smart here, actually. <laughs> let's do it this way. Oh, not that way. Uh, let's actually just place a little floor up here so I can got something to get up to until we get get the tubes going. Get the tubes a-flowing. Floor is too steep. What? What do you mean it's too steep? <sighs> You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Alright, well, let's try some. Let's try it differently then. Uh, place the pole here then. Okay, and then, then try that. Floor is too steep. What do you mean, floor is too steep? Uh, hang on. Got it. Just had to get it up. Get it from the top. Alright. Okay, that didn't hurt, actually. That could have, though, if I had missed that, that jump. Perfect. Okay, up we go. Uh, actually, i got to make sure I have enough stuff to make everything. I need any more of those. We're going to have to get those being produced pretty quick here. Uh, I'm going to have to make a few myself. Let's see what else we need. Uh, yeah, we'll need smelters. Okay, so I... Need a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna mirror everything I have down there up here. Oh, speaking of which, gotta fill those in. Yeah, okay, that's the right one. Uh, I was just filling this in for aesthetic purposes. Uh, it's just the ones I'm staying on actually that are needed, but you get the idea. So I'll be back. 
Okay, I just finished putting the first row of uh, the row of smelters in, and we ran out of power. So I uh, spent God knows how long making four and a bit stacks of this bio f solid biofuel. So let's see how this actually works. So we'll put that in. I want to see how long it actually lasts because this took a while to, to make. So I want to make sure it's actually worth it. Uh, not that it matters because we're going to be going up to oil pretty soon anyway, or coal pretty soon. You know what, that's actually really good. That's lasting about four times as long. Each one of these is two biomass and it's lasting twice as long, or four times as long. That's good. Anyways, uh, it's getting dark. I still got some uh, reinforced plates to make, so I'll bring you back in the morning. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna try doing something a little different uh, than what I originally had planned. Oh, <laughs> don't want to go too far that way. Uh, originally, I was gonna have like two lines of stuff set up, but I'm thinking I'm gonna keep all the, the equipment up top, and then have them go down to here to, to where the storage containers, and then back up, up and down with uh, the conveyor lifts because I've never actually used these before. So why not? And although it's easy to upgrade them when uh, they're already in place, and I realize I gotta move this one uh, just a little bit. Uh, elevator, elevator has been working fine, or escalator, I should say. But I gotta move a few things because I want to get this out of here. Uh, so yeah, and this will work here. This will actually have to stay here for now, I think, because this is actually my. Uh, my walkway up here. Let's see if I can extend this. The building in this is great sometimes. Anyway, uh, yeah, so my idea, let me get these out of here. Because I want to try to keep it as open as possible so you can see as much going on as possible. I know it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, uh, you know, just for the, the look of it. And uh, yes, I have hotkeyed the walls. Just because. I know it's not really necessary. Okay, let's see. Can I build from here? Can I build the right way? Okay. There. And there. And that one went the wrong way for some reason. I know there's a... Uh, a way you can get to rotate by how you place it on there, but it's kind of in the awkward spot for this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that one. Oh, I got it right. Okay, let's get rid of that. And this one. Okay, now we're good. So now for the conveyors. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna have them and how high they're gonna go. So, it's going to be coming out here. Uh, unfortunately, I'll have to put the lift in first. So, let's start by getting... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, splitters and mergers. Now, this is one thing I do like about these things. You can actually place them down in the line. Uh, oh, sorry, I was worried I was going to hurt myself there. Uh, put them down on the line without actually taking it apart. Uh, that's a uh, merger. I want a splitter. So you can place it right here. And I think that'll work. So then I'm going to place them all along here. Get them all to line up. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because I placed them the wrong way. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's see here. Okay. There. Make sure the orange arrow is going the right way. And are you line up for me? Uh, probably not because I don't think you actually lined up. But I think you're getting the idea, so let me try to get this all set up and I'll bring you back. This little bastard trolled me. Came up behind me and just let this nasty sound. 
And it freaked me out. I looked at me. And I swear to God, he started laughing. In this really deep, demonic, evil voice. Should we call him Stan? Or Satan? Anyway, uh, I'm done. pretty much done. Uh, almost out of fuel, too. So, so I'm going to make some more solid biofuel. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back after a more clear cutting and more biofuel production and setting up an auto crafter to craft the stuff for me so I don't have to sit, sit in this thing forever and go and check, cut down trees instead. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's working out okay. Conveyor belt can't actually keep up. It needs 120 per minute and the belt can only do 60. Uh, we do have to do a few unlocks. Uh, one of the things I get need to do i was thinking about doing uh, uh power shards but i was looking at this uh just to get the power shards we have to sacrifice another slug and 25 reinforced plates and then to overclock it is just that and then we get the scanning ability here and then this i have no idea i'm guessing that's going to be like the yellow and the purple slugs instead but anyways uh so yeah what i was going to do uh actually I have a feel what I was going to do is I was going to load these machines up and then we're going to go uh, just check on the copper line for a brief moment here. Uh, yeah, I didn't even see it up front there. I don't know why. Or up top. Uh, I wasn't looking for it. Uh, still getting used to the changes here. Uh, I didn't even see what our uh, usage was. Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to need a few more generators. This will do us for now. Uh, that actually held up quite good, quite a ways. Like, I got all this done. Uh, had to make a few changes. I actually forgot I was going to be bringing new lines in. So this front end is going to be, going to be done. Uh, we're going to have to get logistics pretty quick here because I want to keep this set up. So basically, I'm going to have two lines coming in. They're all going to merge into the container. And then the container's gonna split them up, go back up to two separate machines, come back down. And I know I'm, this is needless, but I'm doing this just because I can. Why not, right? Uh, but everything is all configured, I set up. All I gotta do is configure the machines up top there, get power to them. And there we go. Uh, excuse me a sec. Uh, I was looking for that other copper node too. Uh, the other copper node is actually just across the way here. Uh, I think we have a visitor over there we might have to deal with. Uh, let's go have a look just quick and then we'll probably do a couple of hub upgrades yeah uh, coppers right there uh, I think there's a few guys over there we gotta worry about maybe a guy or two over here but I've already got a platform all the way across so I'm not too worried about it but uh, let's go see what kind of stuff we can unlock uh, I actually like watching the conveyor belts run like that. Uh, soon we're going to have more because I'm going to get these two in. And then uh, there's three over there we're going to grab. And then we're going to grab the other copper over there. Oh, yes. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Going to the, the, the hub and see what we get. Uh, space elevator is what we should do. Okay, we are going to need everything really. The only thing that I've got to do is hook up the concrete line, but uh, I think i got enough concrete. So, uh, just the basics, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So let me grab those, and I'll be right back. There, it looks like a good spot. Now, I always joke about paving my land. Well, <laughs> I finally did it. And we'll see if we can line up to the grid. We'll do it right there. So yeah, now we get to find out what these uh, new parts are all about. And yes, I am planning on building this all the way out and all the way around this chunk of land connected to the other side. Okay. And down she comes. Nice view from here. Locked and loaded. It's gonna miss, it's gonna miss. <laughs> no. And there we go.
Gotta love that animation. Alright, there's the space elevator. So let's go see what's going on. I'm still alive. I'm always, always worried I'm gonna hurt myself. Uh, we should get this stuff all connected. <laughs> we should. So many things to do. Uh, let's check on the biofuel here, see what this is doing. That's not bad, it actually replenished the four that I took out of there already, so that's doing pretty good. Alright, let's see what this thing's got to say. Okay, uh, oh wait. Space elevator phase one, alright. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what it says. Actually, you know what? Forget that, let's get this going here. Okay, uh, let's see here. We got two miners here, so let's do production miner. Oh, I need parts. Hang on. Okay, I got it. All right, so let's get uh, we'll put one. Try to get them all lined up with the grid here. Okay, one there and one there. All right, so. Uh, do want to have a buffer container like I usually do. Hmm. Let's see, can I can put a foundation here and all that. Uh, not there. So these two are going to be feeding those two up there. Let's actually get that out. No, oh, actually, I think I want to. Hmm. I was just going to try to use uh, these conveyor poles to conveyor lifts to go up. Actually, we can. I just have to do it from the bottom up. Um, split it all, have to come out. We take all these out and hopefully not go with uh, the conveyor themselves. And the amount of time I spent getting all these things hooked up to. Uh, the only th one I'm going to leave is a copper for now. Uh, actually, no. We're going to be grabbing that copper, so we'll take all this out. Do like that, and you okay? Now uh, to get these into containers, you know what I could do? Let's uh, go to my hotkey here. Uh, let's see here. I think I could do it this way, maybe. Just because of the space that I'm limited with here. Put one there and put one here. If I actually place it in the right spot, try to keep it all lined up. That works. Okay, and we go to the conveyor. The conveyor is going to come up from here. It's going to go up to there. No, it's not actually. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Will it go there? No, it won't. Okay, that's fine. Less green, the better. That's why we're here, right? Come on, there we go. Yeah. And uh, let's actually and then we go to the other side. Take the three, and we're just gonna go. Up like that. That works. Now you, uh, which way are you going? We going this way. I think we're gonna turn you around. And let's see here. I was gonna go there. Then we can get a conveyor belt going from here up to that one. Then you, sure, good enough. So that's that. Those two. Uh, I gotta bring the other copper from over there. Let's go and grab these two miners over here. Now these ones are normal, so I might be able to branch off of those. We'll see. Go up. We go. Get this ready. I got no food on me, so I gotta be careful. Because I know there's going to be an unwelcome guest here. Besides him. He's harmless. Aren't you? 
You and your purple tongue. Okay, I know there's at least one of them over here. Maybe two of them. And I think there's another lime, so I'm just pausing it here, too. Okay, where is he? Just run for it. Gonna be around somewhere. Not over there. Oh, come on. I know there's one of them somewhere. Apparently not. Okay. So this is normal. So this is actually going to yield me a little bit more. So this is going to be basically the same thing. I'm just going to hook these up. Get some sort of conveyor belt action going up and around. And I'll bring you back. Okay. I got, the, got them all connected. So uh, I'm just going to check on the fuel here and that's actually doing really good. I'm not just surprised. Alright, so let's go ahead and just top these up and then we're gonna go capture that copper node. Uh, tap it into the system anyways. Okay, so I'm trying to keep the conveyors all in like a neat and orderly fashion f for a change. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, these three that are coming over, coming in here, I only have two of them actually hooked up. The third one there will probably end up going towards the steel production once we get into it, because I, uh, I think the coal was that way, the closest one, anyways. But then we come along here, and I got them all staying straight on the line, you can't really see, and then it comes up to here, and they go straight, and they cross over these conveyors here, and they go up a little ways, and up into those ones. So now we gotta go and grab the copper. And yes, I do realize I do have to fill those up, but this, this is still got a ways to go, and um, still has, what, one, two, oh, about enough. It's definitely uh, keeping up, that's for sure. Anyways, uh, let us go. Uh, so the copper's just over there, what I'm probably going to do is... Maybe you'll run the, co the conveyor line up over that way because I got the copper miner over there. Uh, those are going to be the first things I overclock, I guarantee that. Oh, it's so nice being able to just walk over here. Don't ask me how it even holds up. There's a slug nearby. Somewhere. But, uh... There's also some unfriendlies around too, so I gotta watch out for them. And I also realize the episode's getting a little long. So we're gonna be ending this one here pretty soon. As soon as I get my copper. I hear him. I hear something. It's probably just me. Yeah, this is actually the very first area I set up and There's a couple of iron ones down there, too. Could probably go grab those later. I don't see anybody or anything. I'm shocked. Okay, I actually forgot to see if I have enough plates on me. I do. Okay. Uh, for conveyors, that is. I forgot to grab the miner. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just happened to be, just happened to be my last miner, too. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go down this way and then we'll loop around the back side of that line there and hook her up into the system. So that's a good spot for it. And let's uh, grab conveyors when I hit the right button. And go this way and so on and so forth. So let me get this all set up and I'll bring you back when it's time to get it all up and running. Okay, I'm just about done. All it's have to do is hook up the power and see if we fail. Alright, let's see, we got, got a free one there, we got a free one there, so now I'm just going to connect you to there, uh, you to there, and run over here, and let's see, we got four more machines up here, we got to connect up to the system, and cause it to utterly fail, so I'm going to do... 
Uh, that for some reason my mouse keeps going out of the window, outside the window. Uh, early access, keep that in mind. I know I'll say that about a million times, but oh well. All right, let's actually see what we have here. We have three there. Uh, that one's full, and that one's full. So, uh, oh wow, you can actually place them on the containers. I did not know that. All right, let's uh, just place that there. Then we'll connect you to uh, connect you to there. We'll take you to that one. We'll take uh, mouse back in the window, please. Thank you. Uh, you to there and uh, what do I have there? I got nothing there. Hmm. Gonna have to be one more, I guess. So those three, two, yeah. And we'll just put another pole here just because we can and connect that up. Oh, we got two more here we gotta do. Oh, mouse is out the window again. Uh, this actually connected? Oh yeah, I guess they're uh, blinking because they got no power. Or nothing to do yet. Alright, so that's those ones. Now... The smelter is actually, that's all that's left. I think I got the other uh, constructors already set up. So, uh, let's see, that is full. That one is full. That one is full. And that one is full. That's actually a totally different line, isn't it? Aha, I found one. Oh, okay, I'll place, let's see, one there, and we'll go and place another one over here. Uh, right there, and connect you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, and I still have to connect these two as well. So, let's see, okay, that one is full, and that one is full, and that one is full. Alright, well then I gotta do... You gotta do this. Uh, mouse it in the window, please. Okay, and there. And we haven't lost power yet. I'm shocked. Look at all that ore coming in. Sweet. I know why I don't. I I know why I still have power. It's because I haven't actually set any of these machines up yet. Okay, so you are going to be, oh, they're all iron except for the one, so that's going to be iron, and I love the ladders. Okay, iron, and up we go, and up we over, and iron, and then over here, and iron, and last but not least, copper. Does it stay on standby till something actually shows up? Maybe? No, they're all on. Alright, well that is that. Now for the other side. Um, okay. Now let's see. Uh, we got copper going on this side here. Well, actually these are all uh, the c constructors. Uh, let's see if we can find a way up there safely. Uh, Build some stairs. That works. <laughs> uh, biggest stairs in the world. Okay. So let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so you're going to be making wire. No, there wasn't a ladder on this one, was there? No, there wasn't. There goes the power. Like I, just as I thought. Oh, I fell. Well, you get the idea. So I gotta get them all set up. So, gonna have 
First one wire, next two plates, and the next two rods, because one of the rods is going to be going uh, through another one to become screws. So let me get that done and uh, get the power situation all worked out, and I'll be back. Okay, my evidence all set up. All that's left to do is get the power up and running. Fuel generator's got power. That's about it. Uh, but we're going to need a few more of these, I think. No idea how many I'm going to build. So, let's just add two more, shall we? See if that'll be enough. And uh, like so. That will do one more. Just because. Uh, power to the biomass burners okay you and you did I give you a full stack yes I did could have gotten away with just one but now nah, we would have popped by now okay so now we are rolling go up and take a nice little peek at what we got going on here. Be nice if there was a, uh, an observation tower up at the top of the uh, uh, the doohickey here. Space elevator. Or as, as they call it in the hub the, for the parts, the, the spell elevator. Well, there we go. It's kind of quiet, not a whole lot going on, but you know, it's just all basic stuff. These ones haven't actually got anything. I just want to make sure that everything's making it through, okay? Okay, so stuff is going on. Let's go down and have a better look at this. You know, you don't spend three or four hours. Yes, I know. I'm ashamed. You don't spend a couple hours on this trying to get the work out and have this. Oh, why are you not going in? Did I done goofed? I think I did. What did I do wrong here? Yes, I did. And I think it was because when I placed the merger on, I placed it on the tile, not on the conveyor. If you don't place it on the conveyor, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Which means I have to redo this one. Kinda sucks. Does it? I don't know, is the other one working? Are any of them working? Oh. That's the question. No, they are not. Hmm. Connects over there, but it doesn't connect here. Hmm. I was hoping that would have worked. Let me try something here. Well, I think that was it. Everything seems to be working. I had to actually just basically connect this up to there, even though when I was bringing it down on all of them, I was getting that. That snapping sound telling me it was snapping to the conveyor junction. But that wasn't the case. But yeah, they are all up and running. So everything is going up and down and up and down and up and down. It's all going to end up in these boxes all the way at the end. Now, I already know I have quite the surplus of plates. That's full. And this one's full. It's actually a good thing I had a buffer chest there. Well, it's not full yet, but it's filling up. Which is fine because it's going to be going in no time. But while we're here, before we end the episode, we'll go ahead and see what the old space elevator needs. Because I know there's uh, new spell elevator parts, which are these. Smart plating. So I have to go ahead and make these, which we have to 
unlock in the, in the hub. I don't think I've got them yet. I'll go check on that quickly. And see where we're at. I haven't said exactly where the, we're going to go on to the assembly. Uh, well, no, no, I think about it. it's going to be an assembler line. Right? I'm always up for wordplay, right? Wanted to fill that in because I always trip over it. Or not trip over it, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be what we need. And I have absolutely no, no idea what we need for them. So maybe, let me grab some stuff. Maybe we'll clear a whole couple of these out. Uh, except for... Except for the Mark II, that's just for the new conveyors. We will have to start upgrading those eventually. Uh, yeah, let me get some stuff and we'll send it off to space. Okay, I don't know, don't know exactly what all I have on me, but I do have some stuff. So, yeah, let's take care of this. So we're going to need cables, screws, rod, plates. Oh, this makes it so much easier loading this up. And more plates. Okay. Part seven, ready for our lunch. So six minutes for the next one. I might just do a bit of a little bit of AFK before we get into that. Uh, it's gonna be a space elevator next. We got to make those plates. Uh, you know, I've never actually used these yet. I don't know if I ever will because I'm gonna be getting my, my future Rama tubes. Uh, we can actually get this one going too, but yeah, I don't know how many how many. How many Resources will have to sink into that thing to get the thing I want. But we'll figure it out. And yeah, Mark II plating. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, what we're doing here. We were, oh yeah, I want to actually see what these things cost to make. Uh, where are they? There's a the copper sheets. Uh, did I not get them? Okay, where do I make them? Am I missing something? No? Hmm. Let me figure this one out. Okay, I found it. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. That's uh, uh, an assembler only item. Can only make it in here and need uh, one reinforced plating and one rotor. Rotor relatively cheap, like just screws and that. But I also need that. So, yeah, that's where it is. It is in the assembler. But, anyways, I think it's good to be a good place to call it. It is getting kind of late on this one, I'm pretty sure, but got a lot done today. But. Uh, yeah, anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. I missed.